This is the Star Wars The Black Series Grand Admiral Thrawn. The figure is part of the first wave of these new The Force, uh, the Last Jedi series of six inch Black Series figures. And boy, is it amazing. If you've already gotten the San Diego Comic Convention exclusive for 2017 Grand Admiral Thrawn, then you probably don't need to get this one. But for those of us who really missed out on that wonderful, wonderful set that came with a really nice box and accessories, this is a worthy substitute. It is brilliant. Exact same figure. Uh, and Hasbro really went all out with this figure. Um, if you're a big fan of the Rebels show, um, you'll know that he is a, an animated character. And the way they made this figure so that it will fit with the rest of your Black Series figures is they made it very realistic and not cartoon accurate, which is fine. Um, he'll blend nicely with the other Rebels figures that, that have been released uh, in, in the Black Series line. So, uh, great, great looking figure. Here is the packaging. Standard uh, Black Series uh, box art. And you'll know that it already has those letters. The latest ones will have those. Uh, just to give you a size comparison to see how tall he is. He's a pretty tall figure. Here he is with Ahsoka. Uh, from Clone Wars and the Rebels show. Pretty tall. Um, Detail-wise, love it. Love the detail on him. Uh, his uniform is a little bit glossy, the one that's molded at plastic, uh, compared to the, um, the soft goods material. I wish the consistency was more of like this. A little bit more on the, on the matte side but it's a little bit too shiny for my taste but not too bad uh, not a deal breaker it's got well detailed boots no wash on them though very very plain the head sculpt is great uh, just make sure you get one that has eyes painted squarely and correctly uh, and that lips just no misaligned paint apps uh, the hair uh, painted on over the blue not too bad uh, his uniform has, has really, really great details on it. Just also make sure that the paint apps on, on his badges and all those details on his on trims of his uniform are not haphazardly painted and that they are accurately painted. And some lacking paint apps here and there, but really not a lot of paint issues for this figure. He comes with a molded in holster made of soft uh, PVC material. He comes with his blaster. Very nice. Uh, mine's a little bit bent and crooked. Easy fix with the boiling water and cold water method. You can put it on his uh, holster right there. Articulation for the figure. He's got a ball joint neck that's on a hinge. Ball jointed upper torso. Oh, sorry, mid torso. Uh, ball hinge shoulders. Ball hinge elbows, but it does have that 110, 120 degree bend. Uh, which is great. Ball hinge wrists that go in and out for both fists. Uh, he's got ball jointed hips forward and backward. It's not hindered by this soft PVC material because it is soft enough for you to allow leg mo motion. And there's a cut right there. It'll allow some fantastic pose posability for this figure. He's got a thigh swivel, double jointed knees that go all the way up to there. No calf swivel ball hinge ankles with the rocker joints so very very nice let's mount him on my very very cool looking black series figure now all we need now is an ezra an agent callus and a zeb i'm guessing ezra is going to be the one with chopper uh, to be included if they do pursue that figure but all in all these rebel figures for the black series are looking pretty pretty good um big fan of this well done hasbro figures obviously going to get a 10 out of 10 for me it is out there in stores uh one per case but don't pay scalper prices for it you will find it sooner or later this has been the star wars the black series in the six inch scale grand admiral thrawn thanks for watching